Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we are going to be reading on Miss Tamar Braxton and her fiance, JR. Tamar Braxton is a 46 year old singer and she's the younger sister of Tony Braxton. She's a mother of one and she was married to her son's father, Vince, for nine years. Tamar got engaged to Jeremy, um, J.R. Robinson, on a dating show that she was on. J.R. is a lawyer in Atlanta. Um, he's divorced, and he got like five kids with uh, four different black women. And he also fathered two kids with two different black women in 2019. So they're engaged, but at this time, it's not clear when they will get married. So let's look into this. Let's see what's going on. I always say that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. It may not resonate with you all. Spirit, thank you. Let's see how Jeremy really feels towards Tamar. Spirit, show me Jeremy Robinson's true feelings towards Tamar Braxton. How does he really feel towards her spirit? Show me how he really feels. We got the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is someone who is trying to obtain like clarity about about someone's like negative emotions. They, they're trying to figure them out. Show me Jeremy Robinson feelings, true feelings towards Tamar Braxton's spirit. How did he really feel towards her spirit? Ooh, we got the Ace of Swords. Thank you, spirit. We just had the moon in reverse. Somebody trying to gain clarity. The Ace of Swords here is about clarity. We got the Star card. Mm, we got the Six of Swords in reverse. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords can represent when one like planned ahead and acted quickly, it, it probably has like some effect on their life now. Um, the Ace of Swords can also mean new beginnings. A person has a very high ideal um, when it comes to like uh, this relationships and they, they're just trying to understand things. They're trying to understand someone's emotions. They're trying to figure things out, figure this person out. We got the star card. The star card can indicate falling in love with someone new or like a, a new ideal. Something is being created. Um, a person is about to begin a new journey, but but they need to make sure they they aren't seeing things like through rose colored glasses. Six of Swords in reverse. Mm. The Six of Swords in reverse can represent someone feeling stuck in the past, like holding on to like um, emotional baggage um, and, and not working on ways to, to heal their self or working on ways to let this emotional baggage go. I, I just feel someone is trying to gain clarity in, in understanding of someone else. They they both share the same hope uh, for the future and both want to achieve the same goal. There's positivity and optimism, but someone has problems letting 
something go, letting things go. I feel someone really wants to help someone else and support them. They, they want to be loyal and helpful. I, but I feel like a woman values uh, public opinion and like her her reputation is very, very important to her. I do feel there's hesitation, hesitation about um, an opportunity. It's like, it's like somebody is half-hearted dabbling in things. I feel someone is taking like a, a real good look um, into who someone really is deep down. They they are being cautious how they are handling like this person emotionally. I, I feel someone whose emotions are strong needs to practice proper self-care. Um, I, I feel like an emotional conversation is needed. I do feel that someone else feels that someone else is possessive and, and tries to dominate others. I just feel someone is hesitant about a decision right now. Thank you, Spirit. Um, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the current energy around their relationship. Spirit, show me the current energy around Jeremy Robinson and Taylor Braxton's relationship. What's going on with them? Oh, we got the magician, y'all. Mm. Um, someone is, is like, I want to say they're, they're using their willpower to, to change. They're using their willpower to like enable a, a solid foundation. They're doing all their, they can to change. Yeah. It's a struggle for someone. Yeah, they're, they're, someone got their boundaries up too. Show me the current energy around Journey Robinson and Tamar Braxton's relationship. What's going on with them, Spirit? Journey Robinson, Tamar Braxton. We got the Seven of Cups, Justice card. I don't like this Devil card. Especially in a future position. I don't like that. Somebody got some be behaviors going on. Um, Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups can mean that a person is indecisive. Um, they are being cautious on what choice to make. They are examining feelings um, to make a decision. The justice card. The justice can mean a person is being fair about a decision. They are balancing emotions and making compromises. I don't like this devil card, y'all. We got the devil card. In the future position. The devil card can mean a person is making efforts to, to tame their passions. When, when they find themselves um, being tip, tempted by like self-destructive behavior. The devil can also mean a couple is under stress. Um, I feel someone is suspicious of someone else and they're doing a lot of defending um, against like 
influences from the outside. They're defending uh, oneself against being pressed. They, I feel so much is turning the other cheek when it comes to hearing things about the out, the outside outside behavior. Um, I feel they are adapting to change in, in demands. There's something about public opinion, the outside, and someone they 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 just distrust. This public opinion, they they don't believe it. It's like it's like until they see it for themselves, they they don't trust this opinion until they see it for themselves. But they they are being cautious about what they reveal. Something is gnawing away at someone's ability to resist. With it. I'm thinking I'm going I'm stuck on this devil card. Someone is gnawing away as someone's no something is gnawing away as someone's ability to resist. They are keeping quiet about something. About something dirty or corrupt that they are doing. Somebody is sneaky, y'all. Someone is being sneaky, sneaky about unhealthy activity they got going on. They find it hard to stay put. There is an obstacle in this person's way um, that's stopping them from settling down. They are, somebody is holding on stubbornly to something, y'all. Holding on stubbornly to a behavior. I feel this person is being rash about taking on responsibilities. I feel there's a lot of gossip, y'all. A lot of gossip about this person's behavior. And, and their behavior is becoming exhausting to someone else. But I feel someone that they that don't want to listen to the public opinion, they are shouldering gossip uh, gossip about this person's behavior. Um I feel there's some emotional suffering, emotional strain that's going on. Something is weighing on someone's emotional well-being. Y'all, I don't like this energy. And something is, is going to happen, y'all. It's like somebody, someone needs a respite from like a burden. And they, they are tired of tolerating this other person's behavior. They are tired of tolerating something that's affecting them emotionally. And I feel this person is communicating what they wish to end. They are telling this person that your behavior is affecting me emotionally. I, I feel they want this person to suppress their physical pleasures. To end a sexual relationship. Y'all, I'm stuck on this devil card. They want somebody to end a sexual relationship. Um, to let something involving sensual pleasures go. Child, there's grief going on, y'all. Child, I'm moving on from this energy, y'all. Um, there's, there's grief. There's grief. Um, that was negative. Let's see if we can get something positive. Spirit, can we get a message in regards to Jeremy Robinson and Timor Braxton's relationship? Can we get a message, Spirit? In regards to Jeremy Robinson, 
Say more about this relationship. Can we get a message, Spirit? Can we get a message, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Child, Spirit be knowing, y'all. Spirit be knowing. Adjustments are required. Thank you, Spirit. There's a lot of negativity that somebody needs to let go. They need to be honest about um, toxic behavior and, and emotions and release it into the ethers. They need to let the negativity go. Adjustments are required. I'm going to end things here, y'all. That, that conducts the reading on Jeremy and Tamar. I, I just wish Tamar will find the time to heal because she not too long just got out of the relationship with David and we see how that turned out. She needs to heal before jumping into relationships. I just wish them well, her and Jeremy. I wish them well, y'all. I need y'all opinions on this situation. So, leave your thoughts and opinions down below, y'all. Hit the like button. Thank you all for watching. Be blessed.